All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Test Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, time for another unboxing on the Knives Fast channel. If you're not subscribed, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and stick around. Now, recently, our buddy Rusty Knife Lover referred to this as the Knives Fast Unboxing Channel. And, Rusty, you're right. There have been a lot of knives coming in. Now, believe it or not, guys, this one has already been cut open uh, because, it, yeah, there was some confusion over what it was. But we're going to flip this open, and we're going to see uh, what is in here. Now, it looks like there are three knives. One-o, two-o... And 3 -0. Now, I talked to uh, the folks over at Best Tech Knives quite a while ago, and they said they were going to add me to a pass around of some of their new knives, which I thought was really cool. And uh, that was quite a while ago, and I totally, uh, to be honest with you, kind of didn't know when they were coming or anything like that or who they'd be coming from and got no notice. <laughs> and these just showed up from our guy, Sharp AF, who is a really cool dude. If you don't follow his channel... Definitely go check him out. Got to meet him at Blade Show. Looks like we have two uh, more premium Vestex and a budget Vestex is what it looks like to me. Uh, I have not reviewed many Vestex knives recently. We used to get them uh, through one of the other... Sorry, guys, I'm trying to cut these open. Uh, we used to review them through one of the other pass-around groups, and uh, that hasn't happened in a while. They kind of took it internally, uh, which is fine. And I'm glad to be back on this list. So that is awesome. Let's start. Let's move these two back here. And let's start with this guy. And hopefully we can figure out together the names. Well, this one's easy because it's right there. This is the D2 and satin finished Best Tech Skirmish. Okay. Uh, again, I have no idea exactly what we're getting ready to look at uh, in all three of these. But I am very excited because Best Tech makes some really sweet knives. So let's see. Here is... Woo a look at that crazy thing, guys. Uh, obviously, we're about to look at some sort of cleaverish looking knife. We've got a green G10 with a black stripe of G10 going down through it. And look at this crazy satin rhino horn looking thing with a flipper tab and a hole. We're going to do the hole first. Bam. Uh, golly, that's cool. It's got this really kind of trimmed down, uh, you know, handle where it goes narrower to the back. Hold on, let me move the light just a little bit. There we go. Um, you do have a choke-up point here. Again, this is not a review. This is an unboxing of three knives. We'll do the review later. And look at that crazy Warncliffe blade, guys. That is pretty freaking cool. Let's try the flipper. Oh, yeah, good detent. Uh, Best Tech's really hitting it. Now, this is D2. So, again, we're not doing pricing in this. We'll do uh, individual reviews of these three knives probably. I don't know that for sure yet, but that's that's the hope. And uh, we will give the prices and the specs during that. We're just giving first impressions here. I will tell you, uh, you can get four fingers here and definitely four fingers choked up. Stay back off that blade, though. But, man, look at that. And you do have kind of a poon here, a harpoon, where you can get your thumb down in there. Very nice. That is cool. All right, so let's move the box, and we'll leave the skirmish right there. Wait a minute. Now this says skirmish. Okay, so maybe we also have a premium skirmish. Let's see what we've got. Um, we got double skirmish for you guys. So uh, very, very cool. This one comes in a padded uh, package. Oh, man. Okay. It is the skirmish, but it is a fancy skirmish. Look at that. So we've got uh, what I think is some uh, some of this crazy Damascus, and I don't know if that's Damascus or Damasteel, guys. I think it's Damascus. Does it tell me? No, there's nothing on the blade. This is pretty slick. Uh, very busy, uh, but very, very cool. Uh, again, same blade shape, uh, same hole. Uh, you still have a liner here. And what looks like, uh, ooh, I like the floating backspacer. Do we have that in this one as well? We do. Uh, very cool. I like the floating backspacer. Good action. Same good ergos and a crazy looking handle material. Look at that. That if you want one, you can pull out of your pocket and really get some attention. And I, guys, that really looks like Damasteel. It doesn't look like Damascus to me. 
Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll look at the specs and everything when we do the review, and we will know for sure by then. Uh, very, very cool for sure. All right, let's see. Uh, so that is two knives, man. Uh, let's put these both out together. I just think that'll be cool because you got a G10 version and a fancy schmancy version, which, which again, I think is G10. Uh, it sure feels like and looks like uh, the g Mascus G10. Uh, so really cool looking. Look at that. Uh, yeah, and I think Skirmish is absolutely the right name for those knives. It just looks like uh, some sort of uh, battle going on here. And then we have... Oh, wait, the Keen 2, the Best Tech Keen uh, number 2. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever seen the original Keen, so this will be a new one as well. And we have another padded uh, envelope here. Envelope. You know what I mean. Padded uh, pouch. Ooh, this is fancy. All right, whoa, and it's huge. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that guy is big. All right, we're going to put that right there. All right, so we have titanium with these cool milling, this cool milling. It is definitely contoured. And then on this side, we have shred carbon fiber, guys. Look at that marbled shred, whatever you want to call it. Very cool. And this is a big, big knife. Uh, you have uh, thumb studs and a slot. You guys know we got to try the slot first. All right, all right. And a big uh, clip point looking blade here. Huge. Let's see. What is our S? Nope. What does it say? Yeah, S35. Sorry. S35. And I cannot tell who the designer is, but there's the logo. So if any of you know who that is, you can let me know down in the comments. It's got a crown and writing. I uh, cannot tell you who that is, uh, but it is huge. And you got great luck. Whoa. Okay, we're going to do the thumb stud. Wow, okay. I really like the action. Ooh, that detent. Did you guys hear that? Listen. Ooh, okay. Uh, I like that big uh, uh, clip point slash drop point kind of blade. This is huge. Look at that. So you're here. Uh, nowhere to really choke up, but you don't need it. Big beast of a knife. And guys, for what it is, this is extremely light. Uh, very, very light. Uh, wow, good, good lockup. Very nice. I like this uh, a lot. That is a big, big beast. Look at that. Uh, crazy looking thing right there. So really cool. So let's set all three of these out. This is this is not going to fit in the tray. So we'll do uh, we'll do that. All right. So that is the keen two. Uh, let's, all right, I said we're not going to do specs, but we've got to at least get a length on this thing. I want to say 10 inches. It's got to be 10 inches. It, it just does. Um, yeah, it's right at 10 inches. Holy moly, that's a big beast. Uh, so you've got that one, and you've got the skirmish there, and the G10, the more budget-friendly skirmish here. Let's see if I can get these where you can see all three. There we go. So the skirmish, these two, and then the keen two there. What do you guys think? Craziness. This thing is, I am, I'm like, uh, I don't get speechless very often. This thing is a beast. All right, tell you what, we got to do one more thing. We'll do, the, we should save this kind of stuff. We're going to move this so it'll fit. And we're going to, we're going to do this and we're going to put a couple of big beasts by it here, guys. So this is uh, the Civivi Bull Mastiff. Uh, which is more tall than long, but it's still pretty long. And this is the 10-inch long uh, Jake Hoback Summit. Look at that. That is a big beast of a knife. Uh, absolutely. So there you go, guys. We need to wrap this up. Uh, this is a great unboxing. Thank you, Best Tech, uh, for sending these my way. And thank you, Sharp AF, uh, for uh, making that happen. I appreciate it. 
And guys, uh, what do you think? Let's hear down. Whoa, let's hear down below what you think. Uh, again, if you're not subscribed, definitely check it out. And if you're not following me on Instagram, just put an at in front of that at Knives Fast on Instagram, and you can find me there. Uh, very cool. So let me know which one of these you're the most interested in hearing a review on. Obviously, this will be probably two reviews. This one and these two together. Um, this one by itself, these two together, and we will go from there. So let me know, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.